Today we're going to talk about the shot pouch. The job of the shot pouch is basically to service your firearm. I have a fusel, a flintlock fusel, and this bag has to contain everything I need to be able to use that fusel. The powder horn is not attached to the bag. That didn't happen until later in the 18th century towards the uh, American Revolution in the 1770s. But in the mid 18th century and earlier the powder horn was carried on a separate strap. And that's my powder horn which I made. On the strap of the shot pouch is a powder measure to measure the gunpowder that you put down the barrel of the fusel. You never pour the powder directly from the powder horn. There is a bullet board. This one contains two round lead balls. And it's a, it's a method of loading very quickly, very fast, when you need that second shot. Also on the strap is a vent pick for cleaning the vent out on the fusel. And a pan brush for sweeping the pan out. It's for getting rid of the black powder residue after it's been fired. Both of these tools are fairly essential to make a flintlock operate correctly. If you want fast ignition on a flintlock then you need to use these tools. Also on the strap there's some quills some feathers. These are turkey feathers and these I can use to block the vent when I'm not using the gun. If I see one of these quills in the vent then I know that the gun is loaded even if there's no powder in the pan. If it has a feather in the, in the vent then that tells me that the gun is still loaded. Okay, So I can't forget. Okay, inside the pouch, inside the pouch, a tin of leather wads for when I'm using shot. A bag of round ball. bag of swan shot, some greased cloth I can use for wadding, a leather container of bird shot, that's good for smaller game, like rabbit, that sort of thing, duck. In here I have a few tools that I need to use on the flintlock. Um, not many, they don't weigh a lot, but they, they are essential. Um, there's a turn screw, There is a screw which I can use for pulling out a stuck ball if it should be stuck in the barrel. Or if I want to pull a load, if I've had the load in there for a long time and I haven't fired the gun, um, I might not want to waste the powder. In which case, 
I can pull the load. There's a few flints in there, spare flints and a little pin punch which I can use for removing the barrel. This is a lock cover. Sometimes they look differently to this. This is just a, a piece of leather that I can cover my lock up with in bad weather if it's pouring with rain. And, uh, and I'm out in the rain, travelling, more likely if I'm hunting. Um, it's quickly removed to use to fire. Um, sometimes referred to as a cow's knee. Um, because the uh, leather was um, sometimes cut from around the knee of a, uh, of a buffalo or a, or a domestic cow and the shape was just the right shape to fit over the lock of the gun so it was called a cow's knee. Getting down towards the bottom now some more flints and a flint wallet. Some tow for cleaning the barrel. A ball mould. I generally carry the balls already cast. But if I'm out for a long time, I can retrieve lead from game that I shoot and I can melt it. In this lead ladle, which you put a wooden handle into it, and I can pour more round ball with that mould. Some more quills. That's it. That's a spare flint that's found its way into the pouch somehow. I do carry a leather thong in there and this is because if I'm pulling a load and I've got the screw screwed right into the lead ball and for some known reason it's very tight to come out and I can't get a grip on the ramrod then I can tie a leather thong around the ramrod I can tie it around a sapling and I can then pull the gun and pull the load so that's why that's in there and that is the contents of my shop pouch.